The head of Israel's military intelligence directorate has resigned over Hamas's October 7th attack. VOA's Tommy McNeil reports. Major General Aharon Haliva, the head of Israel's military intelligence, becomes the first senior Israeli figure to step down over the failure surrounding Hamas's attack. It could set the stage for more resignations. Haliva said in October that he shouldered the blame for not preventing the attack, which broke through Israel's vaunted defenses. The Israeli military said in a statement Monday that the military chief of staff accepted Haliva's request to resign and thanked him for his service. Tommy McNeil, VOA News. AP correspondent Jackie Quinn reports that the U.S. Supreme Court today is taking up a challenge by a city that wants to ban homeless people from sleeping outdoors. More than half a million people in America are homeless, and this case stemming from a blocked outdoor sleeping ban imposed in Grants Pass, Oregon, will have nationwide implications. The city was ordered by an appeals court to lift its ban, calling it cruel and unusual punishment to prohibit tent cities and sleeping on sidewalks if there isn't enough shelter space. But an attorney representing Grants Pass says growing homeless encampments are unhealthy and unsafe. Municipal leaders say court rulings prevent them from common sense solutions. But housing advocates worry cities would find it easier to arrest people instead of finding them places to live. A Supreme Court decision in the case is not expected until June. I'm Jackie Quinn. North Korea has fired several short-range ballistic missiles. That's what South Korea's military is saying. This is VOA News. Russia said Monday that U.S., British, and French military support for Ukraine has pushed the world to the brink of a direct clash between the world's biggest nuclear powers that could end in catastrophe. Russian President Vladimir Putin's 2022 invasion of Ukraine has touched off the worst breakdown in relations between Russia and the West since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. That's according to Russian and U.S. diplomats. TikTok is reiterating free speech concerns about a bill passed by the U.S. House of Representatives that would ban the popular social media app in the U.S. if its Chinese owner ByteDance did not sell its stake within a year. Reuters correspondent Alex Cohen reports. The House approved the legislation part of a broader foreign aid package. The Senate is expected to vote on it this week, and President Joe Biden has said he would sign it into law. In a statement, TikTok said it is unfortunate that the House of Representatives is using the cover of important foreign and humanitarian assistance to once again jam through a bill that would trample the free speech rights of 170 million Americans. Many U.S. lawmakers from both the Republican and Democratic parties and the Biden administration say TikTok poses national security risks because China could compel the company to share the data of its 170 million U.S. users. TikTok insists it has never shared U.S. data and never would. That was Reuters' Alex Cohen reporting. Monday is Earth Day and the global theme is planet versus plastic. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. For you to think, every day is Earth Day. As president of Beyond Plastics, which works to end plastic pollution, she lives by the theme planet versus plastic and says most of it is buried, burned, or dumped. Only 5 to 6% of plastics are recyclable in the United States. So your key tip is to try to avoid plastic wherever you can. Instead of a plastic bag of baby carrots, she buys a fresh bunch and even buys her peanut butter in recyclable glass jars. Hank says while it's hard to avoid plastic, be conscious and cut back with substitutes. Julie Walker, New York. Students at Columbia University in the U.S. state of New York will attend classes virtually Monday as school officials hope to de-escalate tensions on the New York City campus after pro-Palestinian demonstrations led to mass arrests last week. The university's president denounced Monday anti-Semitic language and harassment that she said had occurred on campus recently.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.